Hello everybody, I'm Nadja Mendes, I'm a graphic design student here at Prague College and for the next guest in our Facing Change interview series, we will be having a conversation with Antonio Cosa. He is a photojournalist who's traveled all around the world documenting the reality of some really hard situations. Let's find out more. Well, hello Mr. Cosa, thank you so much for being with us here today. For the people who might not know you, can you please introduce yourself and tell us what you do? Well, like, uh, I'm Antonio, Antonio Cosa. Uh, for a journalist from Mozambique and I started working as a photographer in Mozambique like 2004 I started working as a professional photographer and for you what's the your favorite part about your job well the favorite part is like when they come back with the material for example if I work on a like a war crisis mm -hmm. or conflicts or refugee camps especially mm -hmm. is where you're more close to people and you 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 share a lot of things like stories and so the best part of it is like when they come back and they can be here sitting with you mm -hmm. and tell them stories, share them stories to the public. And also I, I feel like there's all of these different conflicts going on in the world and different difficult situations. How do you as a journalist choose which stories to, to focus on? I have to feel, I have to have a big connection of a reason mm -hmm. of the people who are protesting or I have to have a doubt first, my own doubts, and this could have to be the first impulse to, to go to the conflict. Mm -hmm. And what were some of like the, the hardships that you had to go through and overcome in these situations? Well, it was not like a really conflict, like a, a war. Well, it happened just now, like this year. Like it was the big cyclone that hits most of mm -hmm. my country. And it was really bad, very, very bad. Mm -hmm. And during my 15 of my career, like I've been in different wars or camps, and, but to, talk to, to, to turn my camera, my, my camera to my country, mm -hmm. this was totally different. It never happened with the first time that I had to go home to photograph my people with different eye, different perspective, and try to hold my, my, myself as a Mozambican and trying to be neutral. And can you tell us more about the Hong Kong conflict and how was your experience mm -hmm. over there? Well, it's difficult to talk about Hong Kong because I just came like a few days ago. Mm -hmm. So I still, my emotions, it's very, very dangerous to share my opinion when I still have to dissolve them because I went, mm -hmm. like always, like all assignments, you go, you have an idea. Mm -hmm. When you reach there, it's totally different. Mm -hmm. You know, because like, it's when you start to find out like the media, most of them is just fake because like you go based in what you see in the news yeah. and when you reach there you don't find it but like once you are already in the camp or the field you have to find a way to to find what's the real story yeah so i was shocked because like i was not prepared to what what i saw in hong kong mm -hmm. and so like i went to one opinion and i came to total different one. So I know that this conflict has been going on for a long time and that it just recently got even more dangerous um, and you that were in the front line, what were some of the most dangerous things that you lived through? Well, it was, it was like, for example, like with many, because like I was always on the front line with mm -hmm. them, but one that it really like stays in my mind till now was that it was like to the group of the, the protesters. I had an idea what they're going to do, right? Because they had small stones and they were trying, mm -hmm. like, before the police or military people keep coming. And right close to me, one of them opened the backpack and he asked me to hold his backpack. And he take like a cocktail bottle, bomb, and it shows it straight away to the, to the embassy door. I was there with the camera and it showed, I had his backpack holding, and it was like, oh, I don't believe they're like, I put myself in such a trouble because as the protest starts, you don't feel it because you have a common people there. But you go deeper, you go deeper, like a few people, like start civilians, let's say, yeah. start to stay behind and you just feel yourself surrounding like with like protesters, frontline soldiers yeah. protesters, like dressing in black, gas masks and everything, like, mm -hmm. but it's like they're very peaceful, they just uh, hangry because they have a reason to be hangry. They have a reason to be hangry. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just to finalize, I just want to see if you want to share anything else with our audience, uh, any part of your experiences that you'd like to 
I don't know. <laughs> but the only thing I can say is that we have we have to be like we people, right? We have to be very like uh, vigilant, like be with the eyes open, like be more closer people to people, we have to be more close than we used to be before as we can see like how the world goes you know like what you see on the news it is a lot of fake news yes but the image do not lie it's real and every, this, all these things like these people there need some help and this place they're not so far at like it looks like on a map it's around the corner so if these people can, do, can be victims of these conflicts around the corner you never know that tomorrow can be right here, mm -hmm. you know, like where we are right now. Because like we know the lucky ones, we're not in heaven, we're still right here in the world. Yeah. So like these things, like as you can see, keep moving. So like the only thing is like just like support others. So like tomorrow they can be here, like mm -hmm. to to support us. Yeah, that are those are all my questions. Thank you so much for okay. your time. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for your uh, work as well. Of going to these places and, and really bringing us back to, to highlight these difficult situations.